When it comes to creating your own electronic signature, you really just need three things. You need a smartphone to take a picture. You need Microsoft Word to clean it up and also Microsoft Paint. So once you've taken a picture, first of all, use it a nice black ink pen, preferably maybe a pilot pen or a Sharpie, something that's nice and crisp. Also, write your name on a white piece of paper. Then email that file to yourself. Now, when you email it to yourself and you receive that email, you're going to want to go ahead and save this as a picture. You can just right click on it or do a save as and then give your file a name. Name it the same thing that you sign your transcripts with on a certificate page and then click save. After you've saved it, locate the file and open it. You will want to open it with Microsoft Paint. Just right click on the file, choose open with and then pick paint. After opening it, you'll notice that it's quite large. So what you'll want to do is resize it and also rotate it. I'll start by resizing it. And then I'll do the rotate. On your toolbar, you'll see both of these options. I'll start with resize and I'll change it down to 25%. After making it smaller, I'll go ahead and rotate it. To rotate, all you have to do is click on the rotate icon. I'll choose rotate 90 degrees. Next, you'll notice that the paper itself takes up most of your photo. We want to just select the signature area only, and we'll do that using the rectangular select tool. And then I will click and drag over it, trying to get as close as possible to the top and the bottom of it. Once I've selected it, now I'm going to use the crop tool. After cropping the photo, I'm going to click the file menu and save the photo as a JPEG image. If I keep the same name, it will ask me to overwrite it. Now I need to eliminate the dark background, and I'll do that using Microsoft Word. I'll click on the Insert Ribbon tab, and then I'll choose Picture. Because I saved this picture on my computer, I'll choose this device. Look to the location of where this file is saved and choose it. This is what my image looks like. And you can see that there are still dark background shadows from when I actually wrote it on the paper and took the picture. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the dark background area. I'll do this by having the picture selected, as you can see that it is currently selected. And if not, just double click on it and then go to the corrections icon. I'm now going to select the option with the whitest background. So that's probably going to be this one right here. And you see, I've just eliminated that background. However, there's still a little bit of shadowing back on that photo. So I'm going to do the next thing and use the artistic effects icon. And again, I'm going to look for the whitest background. And notice when I choose that, that will eliminate that yellow background that we just saw. Now that's starting to look pretty good. But if it didn't completely remove the background, we could always go back to the corrections menu and choose picture corrections options. And from there, I can always play with the brightness and contrast sliders until the background is completely white. But this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. To save it, all I have to do is right click on it and choose save as picture. I'll verify that I'm saving it as a JPEG. And again, I'm going to make sure I put the name in exactly as I have it on my certificate page. You can even add a .d, as in David, extension on it, and that also can help align it with your signature line. Here now is the end result. You can see the before signature and the after. And this looks pretty darn good. If, however, you still see a little bit of a shadow on something, we can always go back to the Word file and remove this as well. These are the steps, though, to create your electronic signature using your phone, Microsoft Paint, and Microsoft Word. If you need further assistance, in other words, you'd like to clean up the signature a little bit more, fill in some of the 
shaded areas a bit more. In case you didn't write it just perfectly when you used your pen, feel free to contact us and we can help you with that. And here's an example of what your signature would look like in a PDF. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.